third time in LA and each visit has been a unique experience. This time was not just any experience but the BET experience. I love my life. 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 I love hey guys you guys should know me by now i'm down not the washing liquid i'm absolutely not the direction i was in la in june and my experience was the bomb i had the best time ever at the bet experience and i'm going to share that with you guys today majority of you guys that have never ever been to the bet experience are probably wondering okay how did you get in i'll tell you guys so me and my homeboy chris you all know him as chris brown we actually do go way back like I remember when we were still pretty young, I was like two, he was like eight years old and we used to kick it like we were so young or we still used to play. Now that we're all grown up, we hang out, we kick it, we call, you feel me? So he basically got me the hookup, so that's how I was able to get into the BET experience. There are times we dream and wish those dreams could come to reality. Right, Pinocchio? So actually, the BET experience is open to the general public. So this is how you get into the BET experience with this wristband. And to be honest with you, I really do not know how much this wristband costs. And that's because I got mine for free. And I'll tell you guys how. But I asked around and I think I may have been told that it costs $20. But please do not hold my word for it because I may be wrong. And if you actually know how much it does cost, please comment below. Oh, comment below. This is how the YouTubers do. Comment below. Eh? So how did I get mine for free? So I was to go to the BET experience with this guy and a bunch of his friends and one of them actually helped all of us get wristbands. So we were all supposed to collect our wristbands from him right before the celebrity basketball game. But long story short, not able to collect the wristband. So I was like, yo, I'm going to get my own wristband. So I saw a bunch of people um, wearing wristbands. So I went to meet this girl. I know majority of them bought that wristbands online so i wanted to find out if it was going to be possible for me to buy wristbands at the venue so i went to meet this girl to ask her where she got her wristband from and guess what so she was like just wait a minute and she literally brought out a wristband from her pocket and she was like here you go and she gave me the extra wristband she had in her pocket and i was so 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 happy that yeah everything worked out so perfectly i didn't have to spend any extra money so i started heading to the celebrity basketball game one of the coaches was Fat Joe and a few of the players were Chris Brown, Two Chains, The Game, Nick Cannon, Rotsi Me, Young hey. M.A., Demetra Ship. And most of all, I was so happy that I was going to be seeing my homeboy Chris Brown. Hey. But then, let me even tell you what happened. I actually was not able to get into the celebrity basketball game because you needed a ticket along with the wristband to get in. And all I had was the wristband. Unfortunately for me, tickets were already sold out at that time. Lesson of the day, don't be like me. Don't feel you could just walk in feeling like you own the show without having everything you need. Plan things well in advance of time so you not only get good seats, but you're actually going to be able to get a ticket before it gets sold out. Luckily enough for me, the BET experience actually consists of a series of events going on at the same time so of course the events are just done at various 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 venues the schedule is going to be posted on the BET website so I went on the schedule to find out what other events were going on at that time and I saw they were going to be doing a genius talk with Issa Rae and mind you for the BET experience you can literally enter most of the events with just this wristband. The Genius Talk was hosted by Charlemagne the God. And majority of us should know who Issa Rae is. Let's make some noise for Issa Rae! She's a successful black woman who has a show on HBO. She's uh, the creator of the series of Pod Black Girl. Man, like if you guys know Issa Rae and if you love her, if she inspires you, give this video a thumbs up. I really loved her genius talk because of course she was open and she shared some of the insecurity she was faced with. She opened up about some of her personal struggles of not fitting into the black community. I was like, yeah, she was straight, whether it, you know, some people might take it as a bitch you can do what I can do. But one thing I really love about her is not necessarily where she is right now, but the journey to getting here. Because she mentioned how she 
dealt with so much rejection um, like she will come up with some bomb ass shows or bomb ass series that she feels oh my god is top notch and all of a sudden there will be maybe some producers that will literally shun her and maybe feel it's not necessarily good enough but I loved how she was able to deal with the rejection of course she persevered she continued to remain determined and that's definitely what got her here today so question for you all are you using rejection to build your character to prepare you for success i'm just gonna drop the mic right there. and they also had a bunch of other genius talks with other celebrities like nick Cannon, ava devane ellis ross so after the genius talk i went to 106 and park a it was set by rotten me a like rep nigeria <laughs> was of course my first time going there but before I land that joint um something I want to mention is that for the BET experience they actually had a bunch of concerts going on starting Thursday night so they had concerts Thursday night Friday night Saturday night and each concert featured a different artist and of course Friday was DJ Khaled and friends oh my god you guys know I love DJ Khaled he just makes me laugh he's so positive the fact that I love him is really evident in my video say my name baby DJ Khaled you're smart DJ Khaled. you're grateful I appreciate that. So 106 and Pack was an amazing time. We had so many, many cool artists perform. We had people like Cardi B. Ayo and Tio. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. OT Genesis. had cut it. Hey, bunch of so many other cool artists but guys i have to say not featuring them here because i didn't know that i've admitted to my friends and people around me that i live on a rock like literally <laughs> help me out and also please tell me what your favorite songs are your favorite artists my best performance at um, 106 and park was actually by Ayo and T. oh my god these guys can dance yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, how are these people doing it? So, because I'll make attempts to like, eh, eh. <laughs> like, but I was still <laughs> embarrassing myself. 106 and Park ended around 5 p.m., and your girl was really hungry. So I went to this really cool Asian restaurant downtown. Um, it was called Triple Eight. Triple Eight. Like, <laughs> I ordered combination fried rice with very cold lemonade and that was exactly what I needed at least to cool my body because of the heat. I had an amazing lunch with me and myself and I and of course I couldn't eat in piss. This guy walked up to me and he was like oh hey mama can I get your number and just talking going on and on and I this guy was literally spitting in my food like you could literally see the spit flying to, to, to like into my food but of course I didn't care too much thank god it was not that much and I was hungry so I still kept on eating of course I took out the parts that the spit was in and they also had a concert starting Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. 
and the concert was going to feature about 12 artists one person i really wanted to see was whiskey at the end of the day whiskey did not perform <laughs> So we just walked around where the BT experience was holding to see what was going on and then we just caught this African DJ playing whiskey song. So hey, so my friend and I were turning up in your dream like well hey, hey, they know my story. <laughs> Sunday was the last day of the BT experience. We went for BT celebration of gospel life. <laughs> oh my god, I got my church service on. <laughs> They had the one church worship team come through to lead praise and worship. We need you worship to be all to be There was also a great sermon by Pastor Sir Robert and Sarah Jake Robert worship session led by Mali Music. was amazing like i literally felt rejuvenated you know when you feel like you're, you've been cleansed on the inside your sins have been cleansed so now it was the real thing happening the bt awards the celebrities actually came pretty early it was to start at five and around three thereabouts you could already see like the celebrity cars and of course there was security they say oh step back step back step back i saw tank he was really feeling so cool with himself he came out shirtless from his limo i'm like yo we saw french montana <laughs> China. Michael Blackson. Blame it on Quay. Yeah, we saw August. We saw lots of cool celebrities. It was a really fun experience. And one thing actually, so on my way out, I did run into an African actor, Chris Arthur. Oh my god, I was so happy to see him. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Look at this pretty face. Oh, pretty face. thank you. <laughs> and he was super, super, super nice. <laughs> thank you. I did get this at the BET experience. These are cufflinks. I did not even get just one. I got two. I also got an AT&T compact mirror. I mean, they're giving out so much free stuff. Maybe I'll consider doing my first giveaway. That's all I have for the BT experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I shall see you guys on my next video. <laughs>